I think there's a dry eye in the place, including mine. Uh, welcome to the celebration of marriage for Bob and Maria. We've been joyfully anticipating this day. And uh, Maria, you look beautiful. And Bob, you clean up well. Yeah. <laughs> Your family is here and online. Welcome to you all online here and in Brazil. Out of country and here in the sanctuary, what a blessing to celebrate this day. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church, and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Bob and Maria now come to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may not lawfully be married, speak now or forever else hold your peace. I require and charge you both here in the presence of God that if either of you know any reason why you may not be United in marriage lawfully and in accordance with God's word, you now confess it. Bob, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. Maria, Will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Will all of you witnessing these promises do all in your power to uphold these persons in their marriage? Very good. The Lord be with you. And also with you. O gracious and ever-living God, you have created us, male and female, in your image. Look mercifully upon this man and this woman who come to you seeking your blessing and assist them with your grace that with true fidelity and steadfast love they may honor and keep the promises and vows they make through Jesus Christ our Savior who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen. Amen. 
Please be seated for the reading. You may be seated. Our reading today is from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 through 13. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but I do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and knowledge, and I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but I do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but there where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is no knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, when it is in part, disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall face face to face. Now I know in part that I shall now fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Please stand for the reading of the Gospel. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said, From the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. And then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Christ. Christ. You may be seated. Well, 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 well. Four years in the making and the waiting, and you've come to this day. We've been talking about it for a while now, and it's just been such a delight to see the family of all saints and friends come together. And, you know, and talking with Bob and, and Maria, they said, well, you're our family. We want to do it in, on Sunday after church so uh, church family can come and other people. Uh, so great to welcome any uh, new visitors with us. I'm Pastor Robin, and, and this is Father Bob, and we are just delighted to, to share in this special day and be a part of it. And, and I know um, Maria was making her own dress, and a couple of ladies said, no, Maria, you, you can't make a beige dress. You have to wear a white wedding gown. So a couple of the ladies had got together, and I know one took you out and, and ended up uh, finding the dress, and you, Bob found your tuxedo, and, and here you are. And, you know, as we heard in the beginning, uh, as I, uh, the dearly beloved, that opening acclamation, that Jesus' first miracle was at the wedding of Cana, and that marriage between a husband and a wife is, is an intimate, the most intimate relationship that mirrors our relationship with Christ. That Christ is the bridegroom, and, and, and Maria, as you are dressed in white, what a beautiful uh, role model or model you are to us as the church, the bride of Christ, and Bob to come, be joined together with your beloved. And here you come, and, and, and in this, these un, this union that you're coming together, and the vows that you're making, the commitment that you make to one another, 
that you also are making them uh, before the Lord, that you're uh, going to be coming up here in a moment to share these vows with one another, and that you make that commitment to love each other in sickness and health for health, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor. And here you are, Bob and Maria. And, you know, I know it's been four years together, and it's such it's such a blessing. I know that, you know, there's that, that song, the, the Broken Road. You know, the God bless the broken road that led me straight to you. I think of that song with the two of you. And I know in the past, many of us have had broken roads. But to see the broken road that God has brought and healed in both of you and leading you to finding one another. And the joy, I mean, you two are like little kids. I mean, we all, you're just giddy all the time. And people are like, I thought they were already married. You just, you know, four years together, but just the joy. And I know the happiness that you found in each other and your faith in Christ is such a blessing. And I know Maria had said, well, you know, Bob, you know, are we going to stay together? And, and Bob had a, a little saying that, that I'd never heard this before, but I had permission to share it. But um, Bob would say to Maria from the beginning, Maria, one plus one equals one. Not two, but one. And, and how many times has he said this, right? Maria, one plus one equals one. And what a beautiful picture of that is the union of the two of you coming together. And in Christ, you are one with him. Even as Jesus prayed that the prayer, the great high priestly prayer, he prayed that, Lord, we would all be one as you and the Father are one. And together you model that relationship as you come together now, husband and wife, to be joined together in holy matrimony. And what a blessing it is that you will continue to have Christ as your foundation. Right when at the end of the final blessing, as I wrap my soul around your hands, that you're reminded of that uh, word from Ecclesiastes that said a cord of three strands is not easily broken because Jesus will be the foundation of your marriage. And he is the third cord in the strand as you are brought together as one in him. And when you love that great chapter, uh, love, uh, chapter of love in 1 Corinthians 13 that you picked out, it's love is patient and kind and, and that you have learned how to love one another as Christ loves you. So it's with Christ as your foundation. And as you continue to look to Jesus, that he will give you that ability to to love one another and abide in him as you abide in your love together. One plus one equals one. Amen. So stand. Everybody else can sit. I just want the bride, bride and groom to come up here. Father Bob will be with me too. Now you can face each other. And Katerina, just have you take the bouquet for Maria, please. Turn and face each other. Hold hands. Bob, repeat after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Bob. I, Bob. Take you, Maria. Take you, Maria. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have. To have. And to hold. And to hold. From this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. If we could just all have the, the photographers be seated now for this solemn moment. Thank you. Maria, repeat after me. In the name of God, I, Maria, take you, Bob, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. Have the rings, Bob? 
Oh, that man had the ring? I told him he'd my fault, I told him. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Ruperto. Bless, O Lord, these rings to be a sign of the vows by which this man and this woman have bound themselves to each other through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay. Just start. Maria. Maria. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Please, let's be seated for the with the cameras. Thank you. To be a sign. To be a sign of the vows. Of the vows. With all that I am. All that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name. In the name of the Father. Of the Father. And of the Son. Of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bob, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow and with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now that Bob and Maria have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Amen. Please stand for the prayers. Let us pray together in the words our Savior Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation, and giver of of all grace. Look with favor upon the world you have made and for which your Son gave his life, and especially upon this man and this woman whom you made one flesh in holy matrimony. Amen. Give them wisdom and devotion in the ordering of their common life, that each may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Amen. Grant that their wills may be so knit together in your will and their spirit in your spirit that they may grow in love and peace with you and one another all the days of their life. Amen. Give them grace when they hurt each other to recognize and acknowledge their fault and to seek each other's forgiveness and yours. Amen. Make their life together a sign of Christ's love to this sinful 
and broken world, that unity may overcome estrangement, forgiveness heal guilt, and joy conquer despair. Amen. Bestow on them, <laughs> I was going to say, bestow on them the children that God will give you. But I don't think they're ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> Give them such fulfillment of their mutual affection that they may reach out in love and concern for others. Amen. Grant that all married persons who have witnessed these vows may find their lives strengthened and their loyalties confirmed. Amen. Grant that the bonds of our common humanity by which all your children are united one to another and the living to the dead may be so transformed by your grace that they May I lost it. Uh, that there may be done on earth as in heaven, where, O oh Father, with your Son and Holy Spirit, you live and reign in perfect unity now and forever. Amen. I'm going to wrap my stool around your hands as uh, Bob will pray the blessing as we pray the blessing together. Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love in sending Jesus Christ to come among us to be born of a human mother and make the way of the cross to be the way of life. We thank you also for consecrating the union of man and woman in his name by the power of your Holy Spirit. Pour out the abundance of your blessing upon this man and this woman. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their foreheads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrow, in their life and in their death. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to that table where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now, everyone receive the blessing of the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Bob, you may kiss the bride. Oh, Okay, that's good.
got it. After 15 minutes, it doesn't count. Invited for the reception in the parish hall, there's Brazilian cake and lots of hors d'oeuvres. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Good job. Good job, Bob.